All right, so this video introduces uh, second derivatives and higher order derivatives. So what happens if we take the derivative of the derivative? Well, then we get what's called the second derivative, all right? So you have a function, you take its derivative, then you pretty much just get uh, what's called the first derivative, or sometimes just the derivative. Then if you take the derivative again, that's how you get the second derivative. What if you take the derivative a third time? Well, then you get the third derivative, uh, and so on and so on. So you can keep doing that um, as long as the derivatives exist. And how do we know when the derivatives exist? Well, that's a topic in a later video. So let's not worry about that for now. Um, but for now, let's just talk about some notation here. All right, so let's say uh, we have a function y equals f of x. Uh, let's talk about the notation for the second derivative. So we know for the first derivative, it's just f primed of x, right? Well, for the second derivative, we just uh, tack on another primed. So this is uh, f double primed of x. It's right, f double primed of x. Uh, this is the same thing as saying f double primed without the x. Or you could say uh, y double primed or y double primed of x, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, and the other type of notation here, uh, if we want to use the dy dx kind of notation, that would be, for the second derivative, it would be d2y dx squared, right? d2y dx squared. Or you could say uh, d2f dx squared. All right, so uh, make sure that, you know, you don't say this with the word over. So this isn't d2y over dx squared. It's just d2y dx squared. Uh, also, it's not d squared y, uh, it's just d2 y. So if you say stuff like d squared y over dx squared, people will know what you mean, but they'll probably judge you, so uh, make sure not to do that. But uh, it's just d2 y dx squared and d2 f dx squared. That's for the second derivative. Um, what about the third derivative? Well, this will come as no surprise, but for the third derivative, f triple primed of x, uh, equals f triple primed, which is the same thing as y triple primed, or you could say y triple primed of x, um, and then this is the same thing as d3y dx cubed, or you could say something like d3f dx cubed, All right? So this is uh, the third derivative of y with respect to x, or the third derivative of f with respect to x. Okay, so that's for third derivative. So for the fourth derivative, things do get a little bit different. Um, well, first of all, some people do use four primes like this, but then it gets a little excessive. Um, so what you could start to do, and usually people start doing this at four, some, some of them sometimes at five, but uh, it's good to start this at four. Put um, f and then in in the exponent put a 4, but put parentheses around it. Okay, so this means the fourth derivative of x. So make sure you have these parentheses because that indicates that it's actually derivative uh, and not like a raised to the fourth power. Okay, so uh, this would be the fourth derivative of x. And of course you could say this um, or this. So fourth derivative of f with respect to x, fourth derivative of f, fourth derivative of y, and of course you could do this too. Um, but this one, the uh, dy dx notation just follows the same kind of pattern uh, as these, so this would just be d4y dx to the fourth. Or you could say uh, d4f dx to the fourth. All right. And the same kind of pattern would continue, so if you wanted to take the uh, 16th derivative of f, then that would be um, f, and then in parentheses 16 up here, and then x, uh, and so on. All right, so it would just keep following the same kind of pattern. Uh, but again, this would just be d16f dx to the 16th, uh, and this would be d16y dx to the 16th. So I switched these around for some reason, I'm not really sure why. Um, but anyway, 
So this kind of pattern just keeps going on here. Um, so that's notation for second derivative and higher order derivatives. So um, in the last video when we mentioned uh, notation, uh, we talked about the different notation if your variable is t. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first of all, uh, if your variable is t, then all of this stuff still applies. Just replace the x with a t, and you could say all the same stuff. But um, the new uh, the new different notation, if you so let's say y equals f of t. Um, for the second derivative, you could also say y double dot or uh, f double dot, okay, or f double dot of t or y double dot of t. All right. So that's for the second derivative. What if you want to mention the third derivative? Well, I'll just tack on another dot. So this would be y triple dot, or f triple dot, or f triple dot of t, or y triple dot of t. Okay. Um, how about the fourth derivative? Well, to be honest, I've actually never seen um, a fourth derivative function that had t as the variable. t usually indicates time, um, and I don't know of any applications where you have a function that depends on time where you want the fourth derivative but I'm guessing you could just tack on another dot. So that's probably not something you'll ever have to worry about, but uh, this notation is here just for your reference. But again, um, if your variable is t, you still could use all of this notation here. Just replace the x's with t's. Uh, but here, if your variable is t, then you could use these. But these only work if your variable is t up here. So that's notation for um, second derivatives and higher order derivatives. So Let's just see an example real quick. Uh, we won't do any calculations, but let's just see an example of how it would be used. Because um, we haven't really done any of those yet. So if uh, g of x equals x squared minus 3x plus uh, 11, then what we would say is uh, g primed of x equals 2x minus 3. So we've done a lot of these, so let's not go through the calculations, but that would be the first derivative. Uh, and the second derivative, g double primed of x would be 2. All right? And the third derivative, g triple primed of x, would be uh, 0. All right? And uh, all the derivatives after that would also be 0. So um, there are some shortcuts for these derivatives here, and that's actually a topic in a later video. But uh, for now, let's not worry about these calculations. But I just want to show you an example of, um, you know, with an actual function of how these would be used. So if g of x is x squared minus 3x plus 11, then the first derivative is 2x minus 3, second derivative is 2, third derivative is 0, uh, and so on and so forth. So that's um, notation and a small example for second derivatives and higher order derivatives.